Millionaire financier Ben Goldsmith heartbreakingly tells how hallucinogenic drug allowed him to see his daughter Iris, 15, again four years after she died in crash. Ben Goldsmith's daughter Iris lost her life in a buggy accident aged 15, in 2019. Ben Goldsmith has revealed that he took hallucinogenic drugs so he could see his 15-year-old daughter and spoke to her through a medium, after she was tragically killed. The millionaire financier, 42, is the son of late billionaire tycoon Sir James Goldsmith and younger brother of Environment Minister Lord Zach Goldsmith and television producer Jemima Goldsmith. His late daughter Iris was just 15 when she lost her life in a buggy accident. Ben lives with his wife Jemima and their children Eliza, Arlo, and Vita Iris on their family farm in Somerset. He revealed that he had taken ayahuasca, a South American brewed hallucinogenic drug, which allowed him to see his daughter. Iris was one of three children from Ben's first marriage, to banking heiress Kate Rothschild. They have two sons, Frank and Isaac. Iris was riding an all-terrain buggy, similar to a quad bike, around the family's farm in North Brewham, Somerset, on July 8, 2019, when it overturned. She was with a friend who immediately raised the alarm but she could not be saved. Ben previously told how he was missing his daughter Iris, more than ever, when his family were in lockdown on the farm where the 15-year-old died, he told the Sunday Times, I saw Iris. I saw with startling clarity the nature of the girl I had known so well in the relationship that had existed between us while she was alive. Ben said he had taken the drug along with 11 other people. He had once taken it as a young man but had not reacted well to it. This time, he said he saw his daughter Iris again. He added, my body heaved and shook as tears sheeted down my face. I felt so lucky to have known this girl for the time that I did. I yearned to reach out and grab her, to hold her tightly to me now. But there was no way of doing so. Meanwhile, during a meeting that lasted an hour and a half with a spiritualistic medium, Ben said he was left amazed by what she told him. He said the medium told him, there's a girl. My, she's a strong character, and she has been very eager to contact you. She wants you to know that she's sorry. I presume she is your daughter? The medium added. The last thing she remembers is being very winded and then a rising panic. Ben previously said he had found the coronavirus pandemic a time of spiritual healing, in a way, in spite of, all the human suffering taking place all over the world. He said life could be, frenetic, with young children and a busy job, explaining, an unexpected hiatus to all that has yielded an opportunity for real reflection, for connection with the inner self and for allowing emotions to rise to the surface. He went on to reveal how he'd been, crying a lot, about the loss of his daughter, saying, I've found myself missing my iris more than ever in recent weeks. I've cried a lot, maybe that's been helpful. I don't know, I just wish with all my might that I could have my kind, brilliant, beautiful girl back. His mother, Lady Annabelle, inspired the name of legendary Mayfair nightclub Annabelle's. Ben welcomed a baby girl with his wife Jemima, nine months after the tragic death of his teenage daughter, Vita, the couple's third child together, left hospital after a fortnight in the ICU.